Now we get to the final stage of the painting and that is detailing and, and refinements. We've covered all the canvas with paint. We, we put on the most basic colors at the, the, at the spots where we need them. And now we can easily adjust some of these parts. But, but that will be different for, for everyone. Because we all paint differently of course and we all have other interests. So uh, you can go as far as you would like. But I would, uh, what, I'm, what I want to do for instance is just small refinements. The rim of the glass, like here, I've, I've never touched that again. And uh, some more detail and, and bring the colors a little bit closer to each other in the orange parts here. Things like that. And on, this, on the knot on the table, there I will uh, put in some detail. But, but only slight details. And that's also why I didn't put much paint on my palette. Uh, these are very small piles of paint because I know that I'm not gonna need a lot of paint for these kind of things. The first layer, of course, you need most paint always. And the further you go in your painting, the less paint you need. But good, we're gonna start, enough talk. I think I'll begin with the rim of the glass because it's staring me in the face. <laughs> and for details also, of course, we take smaller brushes. Um, well, I see some dark brownish part here, a little bit brown, a little bit in burnt umber, a little bit of uh, ultramarine to make it a little bit more neutral. I'm gonna have a, a look, maybe slightly darker, like this. And I just go in and fill in. It's a little bit too brown still, so a little touch of ultramarine to make it a little bit more grey. That's maybe a little bit too much, but like this. The trick is you don't need to uh, put the same amount of detail everywhere in the painting. If you do it at certain spots, then your painting looks detailed even though it isn't that detailed but maybe it's best to show you will see it later on what i mean so here i put a darker line along this side it goes like this and in the rim this is the the, the more darker part but here it gets a lot lighter. So I add some more white, titanium white, and I just go over here and put it there slightly lighter. See? Here there are other things happening. So I go over there because I see the same color over there. Again, when I have a certain color at my brush, on my brush then I look for other spots where I can use it and I just go on and use it then at, the, at those spots so like this maybe here it gets a little bit more red so add a little bit of red Well, I'm working with these dark colors now, so I just uh, go around here, here. I can put a little bit of red to the side as well. And here I see a little bit of red. Here, it, this dark part, that's bothering me still. But maybe with a little bit of refinement we'll get it right so and uh, now i will more closely follow what i see there uh, so I see something like this this is wrong that that part there so i'll try and follow the form that i see and i hope that it will become more logical
Now I mix the gray that I see in the background. It has a little bit more blue to it. So like this to correct the color in the glass here. Maybe a bit like this. Here it gets slightly lighter. Some light color on top of the rim here, but only here. And then it becomes slightly darker. And can you see that um, here this part is quite light, but then when it bends this way, it becomes a little bit more dark and eventually here it gets lighter again like this now then we have this part of the rim it gets i have to make it lighter like this and there it stops and make this quite light and maybe I have to make it a little bit darker afterward I don't know yet but at first I put in some light color Yep, okay. Also, this brown, I will try and make it smoother by... Uh, the, the transition is a little bit hard. So I just mix the colors again, the brownish color, with a little bit of ultramarine in it, like this. And then I will make it slightly lighter. I put that color next to it. Oh, it needs a little bit more ultramarine. So then I'll start blending it in a little bit, not too much, but make it a little bit more subtle. Subtle. So this is a little bit more brown again, like this. Here is the part where it contains a little bit more red. See, it's all very small adjustments. You hardly need any paint. There it's time to add some more blue to it and a little bit of red. Then I make the color slightly lighter for here. So I just keep looking at colors. 
I, I don't think about uh, the fact that it's uh, that it has to be a reflection or something. I just look at the colors and the shapes of them. Well, this lighter color here, this is, is the lightest part, as far as I can tell. So it has a little bit more white, and this a little bit over there, it gets a little bit more orange. So, in whites, in light colors, try to see what color bias it has. So like this, it's maybe a little bit more. See, just a little touch of the light orange. That makes quite a difference. Now that I'm working with this light color and it has a little bit uh, that orange touch to it. I see that here as well. Very light. And here, for instance, in the glass, on the surface of the wine. Sometimes it's uh, nice to wait till the very last part with your lightest colors but in this case i'm looking for a balance between the lighter and darker colors and i just had the feeling that i needed to put the lighter colors in uh, to to uh, look for the balance li a little bit more so now i'll add a little bit more orange Maybe like this, but let's have a look. Maybe like this. For here, for instance. And there it gets lighter again. So uh, you see all kinds of stuff going on there in that reflect in the in the wine. This is also an interesting color, that less saturated orange over there. I put in some more blue, ultramarine. I'm gonna have a look. I like it. Maybe, and I have to bring this one a little bit more down. The place isn't uh, that good, what I did there with the darker color. So I correct that. So this is more of a that lighter color, like that. And then I see a part that is a little bit darker. So I just uh, try a darker orange and a little bit more ultramarine in it. I think that's good, like this. So this is, a, uh, kind of a 
desaturated orange as well. Then you have a slightly lighter part again there. And this part is a little bit more saturated, a little bit more orange in it. And it is, uh, it starts over here somewhere. Well, maybe just a little bit more. See, like this. Then I'm gonna take a look at that darker orange. Just put in some burnt umber and a little bit of red. I'm gonna make that darker orange for over there. Here that is. It needs to be a little bit lighter. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Like this. Then goes all the way here. And that color, the same color I see at different spots, like here. Here, sometimes here, then it gets a little bit more red over there. Now I see a color here that is more. Oh, uh, more burnt umber and a little bit titanium white. I had that here already, but here it's more like this. Here I see the same color, brownish color like this. But of course I see also other things going on there. For instance, a lighter part. Still it has that brownish, but also a little bit more ultramarine in it to cool it down a little bit. I think it's something like this. Yes, that's good. You see that lighter color over there? Like this. And like this. Well, slowly we are getting somewhere, but the darker colors over here, I'm not uh, satisfied with them. But first, maybe to make a uh, I have to make this a little bit lighter first. So I don't have it all planned out uh, beforehand or something. I, I just constantly look what I see and what I do and then I jump from one thing to another all of the time. That's my approach. Eh? That's for everyone has a different approach of course. And uh, my approach differ diff is different for each painting to be honest. Uh, I just follow a little bit of my instincts. There isn't one good way to approach things. It, you can approach painting at so many ways, it's, it's countless. Ah, yeah, okay. And here again, I go in. You see, now I see something in the background that, uh, that I don't like. And then I adjust that, uh, this here for instance. I want to make this line very subtle, way more subtle than it is. So this is dark with a little uh, burnt umber in it. I, I, I know that from last time that I was there. 
like this. So, and then this color has to be a lot darker. Something like this, I think. So you, you barely see it. That's what I like. Subtlety. See? Like that. Dark colors. A little bit more red. So like this. Restore what I've uh, lost. Dark. Think like that. That's not so dark. Here it gets way more dark. Some lines like this, and you see some details. I don't know what it is, but that doesn't matter. And then again, we get here and here. My color is a little bit off, I think. I'm gonna try a little more red. Yeah, that's better. So that that it is a dark color, but it had a little bit more red to it, I think. Uh, I think we're we're getting there. A little bit more red, a little bit more yellow, a little bit orange, and then I'm gonna try and make that color something like this and we can try it by putting it on a piece of paper that's not bad so that is for here the at the it's around this, this has to be more I, I, I have to this is not that good this part has to be bigger so I'll adjust that later on, but that this color can be put over here. A little bit like this, and a little bit like this. And then it bends downwards and it gets a little bit more gray. So just add a little bit more of ultramarine in this case. So like this, you see like that I think now I'm gonna have another look okay this color is still off but that has to dry so I first do that one in the meantime the other color can uh, dry So I make an orangey color and then I add a lot of white. Let's check. It's too yellow maybe. Yes it is. More white. And then we go in and just pull it over here. You see I restore what my shapes and forms. I made some mistakes uh, and of course the proportions of my wine glass aren't that good eh? I made a fairly rough sketch and started painting very quickly relatively spoken so that means I didn't spend that much time at my sketch if you want to be very precise just spend mere time uh, more time on your sketch then uh, then it's of course, then you have more uh, stability while uh, painting. And you have more exact reference points. Reference points. So here we have uh, mm, 
a little bit more color like this I think and it goes like this that form so yeah that's getting slightly better still it's not good enough here it has to go more like this see it's no problem we can adjust everything all the time so yeah now I see that I want to put this dark fellow also I want to adjust that so I just erase it then I get to my darker color mm, it's more like here I think see but I'm not that precise to be honest but I'm just looking I, I, I want to look my painting a little bit realistically so I'm, I'm just looking how far I should I go with going in details and when should I leave it so I'm not that precise of a painter that, that's never been the case with me <laughs> but and uh, I, I like it when when uh, when when you have the suggestion that that you have a realistic painting or and that you have details but it doesn't have to be that detailed in reality in in the painting this and then there's a lighter color so then again I see uh, darker kind of color over there it's just small detail that I like putting in oh it's maybe a bit, a bit too hard well I don't know we'll see yeah that's a little bit too hard. And by hard I mean it's too, uh, the contrast was too big. But now I have to take a look at these colors. So there, to start with and to get some something to work with I'll put in this light apart to where it should go like there and there that's something and then oh and while I'm at it I want to correct it here as well it's a little bit sloppy so like this um, now we get to this dark color there 
very dark. What kind of color is it? Is it brown? I'm gonna check. Yeah, you have this part is very dark. And there it gets lighter. And also here, you see this is dark, very dark. And there it gets slightly lighter. But what color is it? It's sometimes it's so difficult to see. It has a little bit of the burnt sienna. Maybe even a little bit more red. And there it gets a little bit lighter. Is this the right color? Yes, it is. So like this maybe. Here, like this. And then I'm gonna add that dark color. Let us see here. here so like that and when you're uh, painting like this when you're uh, down in all these details it's important to step backwards a lot of times so take a distance look at your painting from a distance because you can get uh, you can easily get totally lost in all the details you see everything but don't forget the people who look at your painting will see it from a distance and they will see it boom at one uh, instance for the first time the they don't look the same way as you, s you do yourself and so th th so they they see it with totally different eyes and sometimes you wished that you could uh, borrow someone's eyes for a while to, for for a little while to look at through it to see what you've done but uh, yeah well that's not possible but we can try and do our best to not get lost in too much uh, detail work and don't be too hard on yourself when you see if you, if, when you stand up close for yourself you see every brush stroke but yeah when you look at it uh, in a few years from now you put away the painting and you look look again at it with clear clear mind then it looks totally different Also, uh, you you would be, you, you most people most people are reasonably hard. So I'm now gonna go over for a while uh, in other parts of the painting because we we have also other parts we have to tend to like this. Maybe I'll add some extra white here to make this stand out a little bit more. But not too much. I think that's uh, okay like this. And now I'm doing that. I can also go over here and add just a little bit extra light color to the rim. So places where I see it so again when you go over it a few times you're building up layers 
it uh, and these layers work together and then well you get a more lively more vivid painting I'm gonna have a look what should I do well in the foot of the glass it may be nice to put some small details but I don't want to get too detailed in it but here there's just a slightly lighter part you see I just like this also I put it in but the difference between the rest of the food color and what I put in now is 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 very small you you hardly see it exactly as in the in the picture and then uh, I think yeah uh, okay there it goes around this one just have a look this goes like this so yeah I think okay and then you have this okay and now we can uh, go over to the the food itself and then you have this lighter color it is a little bit gray a little bit bluish gray but reasonably light so we go over it again and here maybe I should put it here at risk at the at the thing at the at the edge well here we have some small darker parts and I, I mix these um, grays with ultramarine and burnt umber and then you can uh, can choose of course how dark you make them but also how brown or how blue you make them it's up to you uh, it's up to what you see actually so I add a little bit more contrast as you see maybe it's a little bit too much especially over here but well maybe it isn't here we can add a touch of extra blue see some more color in it here so like this but again I'm not gonna paint every tiny little detail but something like here here is slightly darker and the rest is slightly lighter so just add in some some more light over here like this and here here you also have very light parts but still it, it isn't pure white it is a gray mixture that I use because the, the pure whites I will want to reserve for parts like this for instance and for well, for instance here we have a very light part in the, in the picture so always try to when you see light parts just compare it to parts that you surely know that are the lightest parts in the painting and or, or compare it with your with a, with a white plain paper you can easily see okay th this is for instance not uh, it looks very white but it isn't it has it contains a lot of color and this is reasonably white that that highlight there you see that's uh, so you keep your lightest lights lights for the parts in the end that you you really want to be the lightest parts and now i get to the, this color was too warm this was light color so I'll add a little bit more blue 
Uh, just look like this. It's good enough, I think, for that. Then I go over there. And have this in between colors, I would like to call them like this. So there it's light, and over here it gets darker. I will put in some more burnt umber, a little bit of red to make it a little bit warm. I think oh, it, it, oh, it still needs a little bit more red. So like this. And then gradually it gets lighter over there. So something like this. And then uh, let's take a look at uh, here on the rim you also have a very dark part, a dark grey part. I think it's over here somewhere. It's a reasonably dark part. And over there it gets lighter already. And it's more a kind of a reasonably neutral grey. It's not that blue anymore. So over here, see, like this, and also here, to make this a little bit less hard. Okay. And then you have a very light part here in between. like that then the shadow underneath there and here are a little bit darker than what I have now my base color for the shadow is just fine but it can be uh, darkened oh first I want to put in the extra light like this maybe Maybe that's a little bit too much. Like this, I think. And then, uh, then I go over here for the darker parts in the shadow. And it, it could well be, I'm, I'm gonna have a look, that I'm getting already a little bit satisfied enough. But I'm gonna take a look, so... Uh, don't know yet exactly. A little bit more red. Uh, yes, also very dark. But here, this part, I can be a little bit darker. You see? small part like this I think that's enough for the for the foot of the glass I uh, want to look from a distance but I don't uh, must I mustn't stumble over all my camera tripods and things like that <laughs> uh, okay this is uh, going the right way I think now the only thing I think the only thing I want to do is I, I don't want to make this blurry I think uh, for instance I just uh, try to recover this part a little bit and here so that's that's better and then I'm going to do the uh, uh, some very slight details to the knots but not much just to give 
the viewer a sort of feeling that there are that that uh, the, the the feeling of wood the impression of wood eh? to give the impression of wood and that's just a case of burnt umber and ultramarine and finding the right balance and finding the right tonal value and these these parts can be difficult sometimes because you see um, you're focused on I see these lines in the knot and chances are that you want to paint them in too dark but that they're really not that dark if you look closely and I also I, I find it hard to see what color it is it, it has to contain a little bit more blue and a little bit more red I think and then is the quest the question is how dark it's still too dark i think but i make it lighter what we can do is just try and put in a color not too dark to start with so like this and we can almost always make it darker very easily that's no problem well this is a little bit too light because I can't see it <laughs> so I exaggerated a little bit that was a little bit too light now I think I can see yes this is good then it goes like this and this and here is another part and still uh, maybe you even don't even see it on the camera but on the video but uh, I like that just try to be s too subtle at first because we can always very easily spice it up yeah like this so like this see I think I really think it isn't that bad to be honest oh, let's look from a distance yeah it's a little bit too much on it own on its own now because I've not done nothing with the rest of the lines on the table I'm gonna put some uh, more brown in it and make it slightly lighter so that I can paint some of the lines on the table but don't want to do it dark of course a little bit of uh, burnt sienna as well still it has to be made a little bit lighter but um, it, it see this is way too dark still I think Okay, like this maybe yeah that's uh, that's quite right so I put in some of these lines and like here just want to draw that thing that knot on the tape and the wood just really a little bit sketchy but just for the to give the viewer a feeling that that you're looking at wood it may contain a little bit more red a little bit more yellow and then I have to make it a little bit lighter again so, so like this Here it gets slightly darker. That's maybe too dark what I do now. I'm gonna quickly make it a little bit lighter from here. So it's not that bad if you have some contrast. I think that's enough. And then I'm gonna go over here. 
I think, well, let's just add to be detailed a little darker edge. Here. See? Should be a little bit more blue. So let's get, let's get a little bit of sharpness over there. And then I go over to that part. Well, that's also a little bit more red. Yep. I think. So you have a round form, a little bit of this, and over there you have something like that. Just add some, and make it a little bit more smooth. Well, there's also something like going on too long. I think I'll leave it this way. I like it when you can see that it has been painted. It doesn't have to be a second photograph, of course. And uh, I hope you have fun painting this as well. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.